Isaiah 31 to 33. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help, and rely on horses, and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they do not look to the Holy One of Israel, and they do not seek Yahweh. Yet he also is wise, and will bring disaster, and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers, and against the help of those who work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men, and not God, and their horses flesh, and not spirit. When Yahweh stretches out his hand, both he who helps shall stumble, and he who is helped shall fall. And they all shall be consumed together. For Yahweh says to me, As the lion and the young lion growling over his prey, if a multitude of shepherds is calling together against him, will not be dismayed at their voice, nor abase himself for their noise. So Adonai Svaot will come down to fight on Mount Zion and in its heights. As birds hovering, Adonai Svaot will, Jerus- will protect Jerusalem. He will protect and deliver it. He will pass over and preserve it. Return to him from whom you have deeply revolted, sons of Israel. For in that day everyone shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, sin which your own hands have made for you. The Assyrian will fall by the sword, not of man, and the sword, not of mankind, shall devour him. He will flee from the sword, and his young men will become subject to forced labor. His rock will pass away by reason of terror, and his princes will be afraid of the banner, says Yahweh, who, whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace in Jerusalem. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in justice. A man shall be a hiding place from the wind, and a, co- and a covert from the storm. As, st- as streams of water in a dry place, as the shade of a large rock in a weary land, the eyes of those who see will not be dim. And the ears of those who hear will listen. The heart of the rash will understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers will be ready to speak plainly. The fool will no longer be called noble, nor the scoundrel be highly respected. For the fool will speak folly, and his heart will work iniquity, to practice profanity, and to utter error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry, and to cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The ways of the scoundrel are evil. He devises wicked plans to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaks right. But the noble devises noble things, and he will continue in noble things. Rise up, you women who are at ease. Hear my voice. You careless daughters, give ear to my speech. For days beyond a year, you will be troubled, you careless women. For the vintage will fail, the harvest will not come. Tremble, you complacent women. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip yourselves, make yourselves naked, and put sackcloth on your waist. Beat your breasts For the pleasant field, for the fruitful vine, thorns and briars will come up on my people's lands. Yes, on all the houses of joy in the joyous city. For the place, for the palace will be forsaken. The populous city will be deserted. The hill and the watchtower will be for the dens forever. A delight for wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks until the Ruach is poured on us from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is considered a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, 
and righteousness will remain in the fruitful field. The work of righteousness will be shalom, and the effect of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in a peaceful habitation, in safe dwellings and in quiet resting places. Though hail flatten the forest and the city is leveled completely, blessed are you who sow beside all waters, who send out the feet of the ox and the donkey. Woe to you who destroy, but you are not destroyed, and who betray, but nobody betrayed you. When you have finished destroying, you will be destroyed. And when you have finished betrayal, you will be betrayed. O oh, Yahweh, be gracious to us. We have waited for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation also in the time of trouble. At the noise of the thunder, the peoples have fled. When you lift yourself up, the nations are scattered. Your plunder will be gathered as the caterpillar gathers. Men will leap on its locust leap. Men will leap on it as a locust leap. Yahweh is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has, he has filled Zion with justice and righteousness. There will be stability in your times, abundance of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of Yahweh is your treasure. Behold, their valiant ones cry outside. The ambassadors of peace weep bitterly. The highways are desolate. The traveling man ceases. The covenant is broken. He has despised the cities. He does not respect man. The land mourns and languishes. Lebanon is confounded and withers away. Sharon is like a desert, and Bashan and Carmel like stripped bar. Now I will arise, says Yahweh. Now I will lift myself up. Now I will be exalted. You will be you will conceive chaff. You will bring birth to stubble. Your breath is a fire that will devour you. The peoples will be like the burning of lime, like thorns that are cut down and burned in the fire. Here you are far off what I have done, and you are near. Acknowledge my might. The sinners of Zion are afraid. Tremble has seized the godless ones. Who among you can live with a devouring fire? Who among you, who among us can live with an everlasting burning? He who walks righteously and speaks blamelessly. He who despises the gain of oppressions. Who gestures with his hands, refusing to take a bribe? who stops his ears from hearing of blood and, shut, and shuts his eyes from looking at evil. He will dwell on high. His place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. His bread will be supplied with waters, will be sure. Your eyes will see the king of his beauty. They will see a distant land. Your heart will muse on the terror. Where is he who counted? Where is he who weighed? Where is he who counted the towers? You will no longer see the fierce people, a people of a deep speech that you cannot comprehend, with a strange language that you cannot understand. Look at Zion, the city of your appointed festivals. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tent that will no will not be removed. Its stakes will never be plucked up, nor will any of its cords be broken. But there Yahweh will be with us in majesty, a, a place of wide rivers and streams, in which no galley with oars will go, neither will any gallant ship pass by there. For Yahweh is our judge, Yahweh is our lawgiver, Yahweh is our king. He will save us. Your rigging is united. They could not strengthen the foot of their mast. They could not spread the sail. Then the prey of a great plunder was divided. The lame took the prey. The inhabitants will not say, I am sick. The people who dwell therein will be forgiven 
their iniquity.